Hey guys, not gonna lie, I really enjoyed doing the last prompt and I'm kind of excited to see what the next prompt is and I really want to do it, so let's do it! Full page of zombies. That's, that's incredibly boring. What am I going to do about that? As you could tell from my initial reaction, I was not excited about this prompt. It is just so generic. I love zombies as much as the next person, but at this point, uh, <laughs> at this point in pop culture, it's just, it's just been so overdone that I'm kind of, I like zombies, but I'm kind of over them at this point. They're, they've lost their, their sheen. They've lost their coolness because they've just, they've beaten the dead zombie horse on this one. So. I wasn't too excited when I saw zombies, especially a full page of zombies. Could you imagine if there was two prompts, like zombie and doctor or something? That might be more fun, but then it would just be a doctor as a zombie. But I could have made it fun. Anyways, wow, I'm just rambling. You probably wonder why I'm just drawing some animals. Well, now you can see because I rambled. I made zombie animals because zombies are so boring. What, am I just going to draw a person as a zombie? Boring. Since I did a full background last time, I thought I would just do some classic characters on a white background situation, which is fine because I really, really had a lot of fun with this one in the end. I thought it was going to be terrible, but as I progressed through the painting, it it turned out way better than I expected. I love my flat style and I love how simple it is, but I have to say, I got really carried away with the blood splatters. Blood splatters can be a bit of a weakness for me. I did some Halloween decorating a few years ago and I got really into painting blood splatters on some characters and I just really enjoyed it, I don't know. But you'll see that later on in the video. If you noticed, I did cut out a block of the sketching because it just took up too much time and all I did was go back and draw the zombie details onto them. And I also didn't include the initial penciling of the illustration because it was just the same as the sketching and I thought that would be kind of boring, but if you like to see that part, let me know and maybe I'll just include it anyway. I just felt like the video was kind of long already. It's because I ended up painting too much detail later and it just made the video so long, but I'm so happy with the results that I don't really care. So with each animal, um, I don't really know what constitutes a zombie, but I just thought exposed wounds, some skeleton bits. It doesn't have to be realistic, obviously, because it's a zombie. It's not real. But I had a lot of fun with exposing bits of the body and having pieces that were not connected but they were still alive because it's a zombie. And it was really fun. I don't normally draw this sort of thing. Every once in a while I will work on some anatomy and I'll do some skeletons and I'll do some muscles. But I've never done all of them at once into like a zombie creature and it was so much fun. My angular and kind of cutesy style combined with this kind of spooky, horror, gory, gross. I really loved it. It's, it's not something I normally draw and I'd actually have on my list of things to draw some horror pictures and this might have quenched that thirst. I don't know. I still kind of want to draw some creatures that aren't animals. So yeah, I didn't want to do just humans as zombies because that's boring, so I wanted to do animals that you don't normally see as zombies, like an orca. Have you ever seen an orca zombie? If you have, pff, let me know. I want to see an orca zombie. A snail zombie? Ugh, that's not even scary. Do you think he can go fast? Maybe. Maybe he's a crazy fast snail zombie and he's gonna goop his zombie goop all over you. And of course, a dog zombie has been done. Maybe a cat, probably not. Probably not. A snake zombie? Now that's scary. People are already scared of snakes. Maybe even spider, a spider zombie? But I didn't really feel like doing any more bugs in the snail. 
than a horse zombie, which I think has been done. Horse skeletons are pretty cool, but I really enjoy drawing horses in my cartoony style, so I really wanted to do a horse zombie. And then a llama zombie because llamas are cute. And I really just wanted to draw a long, exposed skeletal neck because that's fun. I had a bit of trouble coming up with colors for these guys because I didn't want them all to be just brown and boring. And I kind of struggled with that at first because I didn't want them to be too cartoony. I put a little bit of blue into the orca so it wasn't just black. Which works well. You can you can kind of do that with black, but with like a llama, I didn't want like a pink cutesy llama or like a purple horse or something. So I was a little worried that a lot of the animals were going to be brown, like the dog and the cat are kind of brown and the llama is kind of brown. With the horse, I looked up some patterns and colors that horses can come in, and there was this brownish red color, so I decided to go with that and I had some purple into it so it wasn't just brown. Oh, and I guess I didn't mention, I filled in some of the extra space with just kind of general zombie items. So I've got a couple of weapons in there, a baseball bat with some nails in it, a machete, an axe, and then there's a vial of bile? A vial of bile in the bottom corner, and then some pills and a med kit. Of course, this was all heavily based off of Left 4 Dead because most zombie movies and stuff, it's just about like guns and chainsaws and stuff. And I was like, well, I could just put a bunch of weapons, but I want to put in a couple of other items that aren't just weapons. So I figured some medical supplies and then a vial of bile because I don't know. It's goopy and gross, right? I don't know. Don't question me. I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> I really wish I did put these each on a separate piece of paper. Digitally, I can put them each in their own little square, but I almost wish I had the ability to frame each of these because they're just so cute in a weird way. I don't know. I love them. I'm really happy with how they turned out. That's my only regret in life. Also, don't concern yourself with anatomy. I did look up pictures on each animal on how their skeletal thing was made up, but I wasn't super concerned about accuracy because it is just kind of a cutesy cartoony sort of illustration, and I just wanted to make sure I had the general shape and just wasn't throwing in random bones here and there, just to make sure in general it kind of looked like the animal. Coloring in the exposed flesh was really fun. You know what I did? I googled ham and I colored it off of a ham. <laughs> so fun. Now I want some ham for lunch. I did decide to go ahead and do some small shading in the bone areas because I just thought they were kind of flat. And with the white background, it was just too blended in together, so. You probably can't see it from the video, but I did put some bluish shading into the bone areas just to separate it from the white background, and I think it does help it pop a little bit. I also added some dark spots around their eyes just to add a little bit more spookiness to it, make it look more like they are decaying and that they're dead and they're spooky and they've got those baggy, sunken in eyes. Like a zombie. Duh. So putting on the blood, like I said before, so much fun. I love it. I just took my brush and I got kind of an opaque red and I just kind of jabbed my paintbrush into the paper everywhere and just kind of made it look sporadic and random. Just made them look like they had been splattered or smeared with blood in some way. And it's just so much fun because it's just, it's a free for all and you can do whatever you want with blood splatters because they're blood splatters. And smears, they can go wherever they want. It was so much fun. And then I went back with a darker color red so that it kind of defined it just a little bit more and just added a few layers into it. It looks really good when you have multiple layers and it's not just one flat red. 
and you have a couple of layers of blood where it's thicker in some areas and thinner in others. It just adds like a little bit of extra detail and it just looks really good. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm very happy with how this came out. And that's my zombie prompt. Let me know in the comments below if I did a good job at making the generic zombie prompt a little more fun. Also, which of these animals are you more scared of as a zombie and how would you take it out? I want to say orca just because it's really big, but I can't find myself in the middle of the ocean during a zombie apocalypse. So I guess I'm going to have to say the snake, just because snakes are very slippery and they can get into small spaces. They can come in through your vent. They can come in through the toilet. Can you imagine taking a poo and a zombie snake comes out of the toilet? Oh my gosh. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next prompt. Bye!